So hello everyone, I am back home and I'm here with my backpack um, to unpack with you. I think it's great and nice to like always like have my, make these packing videos and share what I'm bringing and what I'm thinking about it. But it's another story to actually see what I've used and how it all worked. Have I brought things that I did not use even though I'm like packing pretty minimally? So I'm back from my five week trip to like Norway and Sweden. We traveled with Interrail and stayed in cabins. We had like temperatures where you actually really want to wear a sweater and also a jacket because it's sometimes windy and you know, it rained a lot. I came back last night and I already unpacked some food we brought with us, some stuff we wanted to eat on the train and some stuff we bought in Sweden because we missed it from when we used to live there in 2018. Um, but other than that, it's still everything complete. I even have the clothes with me that I wore yesterday because I want to talk about the stuff that I had with me. So I haven't started a load of laundry. I have my shoes, I have my clothes I wore yesterday. I have all of my luggage. And so let's unpack together and see how good my minimalist packing actually was. But maybe let's start with the stuff I wore. I had one pair of shoes with me. And in conclusion, I would say it was a good decision. There were times where these were wet, um, but we always like managed to dry them before I need, needed to wear them again, so no huge problems. Uh, I should have impregnated, do you say like that? Like made them more waterproof again before we left. I did not do that, that was a mistake. Um, but overall, these shoes were the best pair of shoes to bring from the shoes I have. And I'm happy with my decision. I wore them every single day because it's the only pair of shoe I brought. What I wore too was my rain jacket. So happy I brought it. Used it almost every single day for rain and if not for rain then for wind. I think there was not even one day where I didn't use it. Um, I realized it's not that waterproof anymore but it's still okay so I will kind of start looking for a new one but with no rush. Then the clothes I wore. Ooh. So this is my sweater. I have to be honest, I did not wash this on our trip, but it's a wool sweater, so it also doesn't need to be washed that much. And I try to just always take it off as soon as I would start sweating to not make it stink. Once I like spilled some um, sun screen on it, but I washed it in like a mountain river. So I wore this, I would say we, we were away for like a total of 35 days and I think I wore this for 30 of these days. I'm really happy I brought this wool sweater. It kept me warm. It's a great basic. It's just, you know, I'm happy I brought it. I wore it all the time. It was my, my outfit kind of. Then <laughs> we have the socks. I just forgot like this one has the huge hole. I'm not going to wear that anymore. That's decluttered from my wardrobe. The other one still does not have a hole. So I'm going to wear it a bit longer. Um, yeah, then my t-shirt that I wore, I would say I wore this for like 20 to 25 of 35 days. I did wash it a few times, but it's like a colorful standard t-shirt. I really like the color and I'm gonna link you colorful standard down below as well as a code. I'm actually wearing this is colorful standard and this is colorful standard as well. So I highly recommend you check them out. They're sustainable like brand offering basics in like up to 50 different colors, which is amazing. So I'm gonna link them down below. I wore this t-shirt or like top. I keep saying t-shirt even though it's like a tank top. Happy about it, has a great comfortable cut. A bra, I wore this more than the other one, but it needs to, to be washed now. <laughs> and my pair of pants. So this is my corduroy pair of pants. I bought this spring in a secondhand store in Switzerland and they are lighter now. Like they lightened up quite a bit, I think. Um, but I wore those to um, 34 out of 35 days. I just did not wear them on one day because I washed them and were like wore the other pair I brought. But these were like the, pa the pants of this trip. My uniform, I wore them like every single day except for one. And I'm happy I brought them. They are still super comfortable. They are, ha, <laughs> one great thing. If you have wet hands and you just like, uh, dry them on the pair of pants you can't see anything so it won't have like wet stains that's great as well we're at the backpack so this is the backpack still filled to the same amount as when i started traveling it's the wakes one a sustainable brand from germany i'm also going to link you down below because i've used this backpack it's the only backpack or only piece of luggage i own except for like a very little pouch um yeah for the past two and a half years 
I love it. It was the perfect backpack for this trip. I would take it again. Um, I'm a fan of this company. I love the color. color. It's also, you can make it bigger. And I was actually so, so, so glad I had this backpack for its roll top. I'm gonna show you because you can expand it up to here. It doesn't fit the frame anymore. And like this, I could like easily carry my usual luggage as well as grocery for a few days. Uh, which makes it so much better because I really don't want to have like extra bags with groceries. The light is changing. I'm sorry. We have to work with this now. I have like a secret compartment here, but it's a, like nobody can actually steal something while it's on the, my back. I would really feel that. Um, my wallet is not in here anymore, but that's where usually my wallet is. But let's see what's in here. So we have, oh, we have a mask, an old mask, a receipt, another receipt. Oh, so all the stuff that usually is in here is not in here anymore. Let's see, something else. Ha, huh, a mask thing to like tie it together behind your back. That's it. So let's continue with the side compartments. Here usually my water bottle is, big, but yesterday I took like a bus and I had to put the, the backpack down below into the bus and not with me. So I had my water bottle with me. Now it's in here in the main compartment. Then here, let's see. We have my toiletries. Um, yeah, happy with what I brought. Used all of it, I think. We have mosquito spray. And some of you told me I bought this back in Germany. I brought it with me. In the beginning, we didn't use it at all. But towards the end, when we were in Northern Sweden, we actually used it quite a lot. And you were right. Some of you told me it won't be effective on like actual Scandinavian mosquitoes because they're just too, you know, too aggressive. It, it, it says here it lasts like six hours and it absolutely didn't. It lasted like 30 minutes. So we just use more of it because it's not like it's a non-toxic version. Uh, yeah. But I'm still glad I brought it. I think it was good. It's like half full still. So we'll see. Maybe you'll use it next year or when I go swimming at the lake in the evening here. It still might be helpful. Ugh. Then I have like some toilet paper and tissue that I like brought when we were hiking or something for like emergencies. I have my very small towel. I actually did not use this, I think. Um, sunscreen. The thing my towel belongs into. And then that's just like the rain cover for my backpack. And funny enough, even when it rained almost every single day, I did not use it because this backpack is pretty waterproof on its own. And we never like had to like move or had to be outside in pouring rain. So, oh, now because it's so full, it's hard to cross. So, now the main compartment. That's what I meant. That's the bag I took with me into the bus, like to my seat. And that was actually so, so great. I maybe didn't even mention it while packing it, but that's just that bag is usually in my backpack because I use it when I go grocery shopping here as well. I use this backpack, I use this bag to put like extra groceries in. And in here we have now my water bottle. So glad I brought this, use this every single day. Another mask, um, uh, some garbage, power bank. This was shitty as hell. Um, it's, it couldn't charge my old phone, my new one maybe slowly, but it's not great. The charger of my new phone, an ebook reader. If you want to know more about the stuff that are new in my life, if, you, if you've seen my packing video and wonder where it's coming from, I leave you my in and out video up here to check it out. I think it's a good one. I also talk more about my trip there. Ooh, like a little recap. What else? My pocket knife, used it almost every single day. It's great, I had this since I was six years old. It's like a Swiss pocket knife. Salt in like a container for cinnamon because we bought like a big salt container and in the end when our cinnamon was empty, we put the salt in there. And the bag. I actually found this in the trash in 2018 when we lived in Stockholm and it has, it has been with me since then and I used it a lot. More trash, a package like a, uh, of masks. Then, <laughs> yesterday I spent the day in Berlin and I checked out some secondhand stores and bought two pairs of pants for my son. Because he goes through them very, very quickly and so now he has two more pairs of pants. I did not find anything for me or my boyfriend, but for him. But that's good as well. He's growing, you know, he needs more, he needs more new stuff all the time. A pair of underwear. That's the one that I'm gonna declutter straight away because it like couldn't, it's, it, 
it's only holes at this point, actually. Not really any fabric left. Ah, oh, it's getting brighter again. Let's see. Ooh. A hat. I bought that in um, Norway because I didn't bring one. So happy I had it. Used it all the time. That's like one of the packing mistakes. Other pair of underwear. And then in here, like I brought this, ooh, there's another pair of socks and I actually have to declutter these as well. I discovered it after, like my in and out video it has a huge hole here and has a not so huge hole, but still a hole here as well. So I actually used my, that's, that's like a washing machine. Like it's called the Scruba wash bag. I might link it down for you as well. It's like a portable washing machine, but it's also um, you know, a, a bag that keeps stuff dry and can compress stuff in here are all the clothes I did not wear. Let's see. Or like I didn't like wear while traveling, but in general I wore most of this. So that's the other sweater I brought. I wore this five out of 35 days, but I still, it's still good to bring it because I could have layered it on top of each other. And I want to have a sweater to wear if I'm washing the other sweater, you know. Then a t-shirt, wore this maybe 10 days, seven days, still happy I brought it. Still great, but just did not wear it that much. <laughs> my shorts. I uh, didn't even show them in the packing video because I didn't think I would bring them. Then my boyfriend convinced me I need to bring shorts if it's like summer holiday. I did not wear them once. So this is actually, I think maybe one of the only or the only thing I did not wear. Shouldn't have brought the shorts. It's just, it wasn't necessary. It was way too cold and way too windy and way too rainy. So yeah, shouldn't have brought this. Then my other pair of pants, wore them once. Still good to bring them because again, I want to have something to wear if I wash my pair of pants. My other bra, wore it like almost half of the time. Um, another t-shirt, I wore this twice, I think, maybe three times, but still like a third t-shirt was still, I think, a good idea. My swimsuit, wore it like eight times. I went swimming naked two times and when I didn't go swim naked, then I wore my swimsuit. Then um, another pair of socks, great. I'm happy I brought these, I wore these a lot. And then um, self-knitted socks, also very, very happy I brought these, maybe wore them 10 times um, in cabins because I don't really fit into the shoes with these on, but very happy I brought them. Now it's empty. Also very happy I brought that, I used it several times. Ah, oh, another pair of underwear, interesting. So COVID tests, we didn't use them, but I'm still happy we brought them just in case. Our like laundry line to hang dry laundry, used it in our last accommodation. I almost thought we wouldn't use it, but we did use it. It was great, we brought it. It helped us dry our laundry efficiently and quickly. Um, yeah, happy I brought it. Actually, I'm surprised at like how little of the way, <laughs> my stick, my driftwood. I brought it with me, still don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I'm surprised at how much tech I needed and brought and carried around and how much it weighed. So here we have the charger for my computer. It's heavy and bulky, but very happy I brought it. Otherwise I couldn't have used it, you know? Some cables. Um, I think I used, ah, uh, I didn't use this one. This is the charging cable for my old phone, um, but I used the other cable. Some camera cleaning equipment, used it, extra battery, used it as well. SD card for my old phone. Then hard drive, happy I brought this one, used it all the time. Some more cables, used those as well. This is the hard drive um, I got from my sister's boyfriend. Again, for the full story, watch the in and out video. So I have to bring this even though I did not use it. I'm gonna use it in the future. Small tripod that belongs to my son that is way too small for my camera, but I used it once and it worked. But it wouldn't have been really necessary to bring it, I think. My old phone, bring it with me to send it back to the company. And I think, oh, another receipt. Oh, maybe that's the important one. Wait! That's one of the hard drives. Yes, I need to keep it to deduct it from taxes. Um, and my laptop, used it all the time for working. Um, and also for watching Netflix a few times. So happy I brought it, even though that's just so much tech. I don't want to bring all of this tech. Let's see, is there anything in here? No, the backpack is empty. Overall, I'm very happy with how I packed. I didn't really bring stuff I didn't use, and I used all of the stuff I brought and I didn't really miss. 
anything. So there's one exception to both. I brought the shorts without using them and I didn't bring a hat, which I wish I had brought one and therefore like I bought one. So what do you think? Let me know. Are you surprised at any of the things? Are you, would you do it the same? Would you do it differently? I think there's no like real right way to do it. It just depends on your trip or your personality or your needs or your preferences. So let me know what you would have done differently. I'm now going to start a lot of laundry, but also a lot of you were interested in the costs of our trip. So I'm going to do two things. I'm going to link you all the Airbnbs down below that we used. Maybe you're interested in just looking at them or booking them for yourself. It's not sponsored in any way. That's number one. Number two, I'm going to share like how much this trip cost. So as you might know, I went on this trip with my boyfriend and my son and we used interrail tickets that we actually got in a sale for 50% off. We wouldn't have chosen that exact ticket if it weren't for the sale, but still it just did save us some money. So I think the biggest expense was the Airbnbs. I tried to stay below 100 euros per night. Then the tickets of course were a lot as well. And I paid a lot more for groceries um, than I usually do um, during like a month. So I do have to say I don't have the exact numbers and it also would really depend on what you count towards expenses for a trip and maybe you know if you use a local bus is this an expense for the trip or would I have used a local bus in Germany as well and then it's like a normal expense things like that. Is grocery groceries an extra expense because it's a bit more expensive or you know it's a bit hard to say. I would say this trip cost us somewhere between 3,500 euros and 4,000 euros depending how you like count. If you really only count the extra costs then it might even be like 3,200, 3,300, something like that. But if you count everything, it, oh, it's too bright again. It might add up up to 4,000. Now, Scandinavia is expensive. So Airbnbs and food and stuff is expensive. And I do want to say that that is absolutely more expensive than what I can usually afford when it comes to trips. We haven't been traveling for three years. So, and I really, really wanted to go on this trip. So I spent this money. But I'm not going to go on a trip this expensive again in the near future. Only if I end up making a lot more money, maybe. Um, also, Scandinavia is quite expensive and we did not like go camping, but had Airbnbs, which I'm very thankful for because of the weather. Yeah, we still try to be somewhat frugal. We did not bring like any souvenirs or bought any expensive like activities. Or, and we even try to save like on transportation and sometimes hitchhike to like supermarkets and things like that. And I do have to say, I think the price is okay. Like almost 4,000 euros for five weeks and three people, two adults and one child. If you want to see more from this trip, I highly recommend you check out the vlogs and also maybe the packing video. And I am sorry if this content is not interesting to you, but that's just what my life has been like the past month. But I guess you're not watching if it's not interesting, you know, at the end of the video, of unpacking my stuff from my trip. But thank you so, so much for everyone who has been watching, who has been like writing very nice comments and enjoying watching like the, the videos about this trip. And now we're going more so back to regular content. Still, please let me know what you would like to see in the future. I'm happy to be home. I'm sad that I won't get to travel again in the near future. And I'm absolutely very, very, very grateful that I was able to do that, that I was able to like take my work with me, that I was able to stay away for that long, that we were able to afford it, that we were just able to do it, that it all worked out. So I'm so, so happy about this trip. Still going through all the pictures. Check out Instagram if you want to see more. And thank you so, so much for watching. And now I'm going to link you the in and out video that I've talked a lot about in this video because I think it's relevant to the stuff, but also feel free to check out any other video. I hope to see you there, otherwise in my next video or at another time somewhere else. Bye!